Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to show you how we use our chickens for our pasture management and what we found to work the best for us in the spring and summer and fall, ideally with our coop set up, it keeps the chickens the happiest and it also keeps them away from predators. So the construction of the bottom part of the tractor is very simple. We just used two by fours and created a rectangle. So it is two feet high, it's eight foot wide and 10 foot long. And then we just have chicken wire that is attached obviously to the boards. Now, because we move this all of the time and we've had this tractor for a number of years, it stays out in the weather all the time. We have braced it with this piping here because that backboard uh, was getting a little bit it was trying to crack. Um, sometimes when you move it, because our pasture is not completely even, it'll hit something. And so we did some extra bracing there. And then you can see on the top here, that is the coop. And we have two pieces of tin on each side. So that provides them with both shade and protection from the rain and the elements. Now during the summer and the spring and the fall, we just let it stay open. During the winter when we have a lot of snow and a lot cooler weather, then we have to provide more protection and we end up putting some tin along the sides and the front. So in the past we tried free ranging, but we live out here on almost 15 acres. There's our own dog, there's neighborhood dogs, but the real threat comes from the coyote. So we had 18 chickens and we allowed them to free range. At night they would come into the coop and we would shut it up. But unfortunately, even during the day, so full daylight, daylight hours, and they're fairly close to the house. We're probably a couple hundred feet from the house, but they're in the top pasture that's in our backyard. We had a pack of coyotes come in and they killed all but one chicken out of 18 in two days. So free ranging for us doesn't work. So we found the next best thing and that is using a chicken tractor, but we've done it in a little bit different fashion so that our coop and the tractor are in one. So some of the things that we found the best, now previously we had a movable coop and we had the actual, it was the exact same tractor. And when I say tractor, it's just the movable part that is down here that's on the ground. And we had a different coop and it was all attached, but it was so heavy that the only way we could move it was with a full size tractor or with my husband's big diesel pickup truck which didn't make it very convenient. And if I'm being honest with you, but I am being honest with you, it means that I didn't really move it as often as I should. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having a chicken tractor if they eat all of the grass and get down to bare dirt and then you don't move them. So after a few years, we just realized that that wasn't working well and it wasn't getting moved in a timely manner and we needed something that was just easier to move and worked better for the chicken. So that's why we decided on this. So the actual top of the coop that we sat on here is an A frame and it's a separate unit. So it was just down um, on the ground. We got it actually from my brother who we got his chickens too. He decided he wasn't gonna keep chickens anymore. And we put this A frame unit on top of our chicken tractor and then we just nailed and screwed it down so that this is one complete unit. So I've got the door here that I can easily open. So you just have to step over to get inside like this and try not to step on a chicken. So you can see this part doesn't open and it's a little bit narrow opening but I can move through it pretty easily. And the only reason when I need to do that is to go in and actually fill up the feeder that's in the back and or the waterer. So I don't actually have to usually get in here every day. I give them enough feed and water that it lasts for a couple of days. So the other thing that we really... <laughs> Aren't you noisy? So one of the things that you want to consider is even though it's in the spring and the summertime, so they're not having cold temperatures, you do still want to make sure that they have a way to get out of any rain, um, if you've got a lot of wind when a storm's coming in that they've got some protection, they need a place to roost and to sleep at night that is protected. And the biggest thing during the summer months is they have somewhere to get out of the direct sunlight and that they have some shade. So by having this on top and we've got that A-frame in the back, they've got a completely shaded area 
The floor of the A-frame is obviously going to, they can go inside to get out of rain if they need to, but then they also can come outside here in the chicken tractor, and because you've got the floor of the A-frame acting as like a secondary roof, then it also keeps that area dry. So they've got a, a dry place to go and a shady place to go, but they're still getting plenty of fresh air, and they can get out in the open and move about. We also wanted to make sure that both the feeder and their waterer were hanging because when you move it every two days, I don't want to have to crawl in and pick them up. I know it sounds like, oh, so hard to do, pick up a feeder and a waterer. But like I said, trying to make it just as easy and quick as possible. And so if they're hanging, not only does it make it really easy for us when we go to move it, because I don't have to worry about getting them out of the way and then re-putting them back in every time, but it's a lot cleaner. So chickens, as they're scratching around and they don't really care where they go to the bathroom and where they scratch and fling mud and everything else. So this keeps their water and their feed up off the ground so they're not spilling it, they're not getting it dirty, and it's just keeping things a lot tidier and better all the way around, and they're not scratching out their food and wasting it. They're pretty good at pecking it out even if they did, but it just makes everything a lot more efficient. So the other thing when we were constructing this and going about what we wanted to do is can't move it by hand, at least I can't, it's way too heavy. So we use our four wheeler, but in order to move it, we needed some type of wheel so that we weren't just dragging it and ripping up the pasture and the ground. So we had some old wagon wheels. So my kids are older now and they don't use their little red rider wagons anymore. So we just took and repurposed those old wagon wheels and just put them down on the bottom of the coop so that it does have a little bit of something that it can roll and helps make it easier when we go to move it. So the only thing I would change is if possible, having the back of the coop, because this is where we check the eggs, extend all the way back to the chicken tractor. But we didn't want to rebuild anything. We wanted to just use everything as was. You get a little bit of a workout because you get to climb up and down when you're getting the eggs. So we just have a couple of different beams here supporting it so that you can stand on them so that you've got that platform. And then these just swing up like so and then this folds down and I've got one hen in her nesting box but the rest of them like to lay the eggs in every spot but the nesting box and then same thing this just goes right back up I can get in here and clean if I need to which I do need to pretty shortly and take out the droppings and she is not very happy being on camera so we're gonna go ahead and put this back so this is just works on this is just like some strapping basically that's a hinge so this is pretty easy it's just the plywood and that just goes like that and it's closed back up and then you just step down so one of the things that we really like to do here in our homestead is we try to use our animals with our pasture management and we try to integrate everything as best as possible. So we have some really old pasture here, which we do also run our organic grass fed beef on. And when we have pigs, we're not pigs currently, but when we raise our pigs, then we also are using them on the pasture. So we try to make them work for us. And one of the ways that we use the chicken tractor is to help fertilize and really help keep our pasture in tip top condition. So if you have had land that has been pasture for a long period of time, like we have, we've had pasture with cattle on it. It's been in my family for multiple generations and it's been pasture for over a hundred years and it hasn't been dissed and reseeded. And so having all of those animals on it, grazing year after year after year, it really compacts the soil and also it's gonna take out some of the nutrients. So the beautiful thing about having the chickens on the pasture within the chicken tractor is they are of course scratching up. So they're helping to aerate it and to get any moss and things that are on that top layer. And then of course, chicken manure is one of the highest that you can get when it comes to nitrogen. And so it's actually acting as fertilizer on top of 
the grass. And it's pretty amazing when you can watch and see the progression from where the tractor has been because the difference in the grass and the pasture that's coming up in that area is really significant. So you can see when I first move them, I try not to let it get all the way just to bare dirt just because they like to have the fresh green and I want to keep a little bit of the grass on there. And so I try to move them every two to three days, but you can see every two to three days, the difference that it makes. And it only takes a couple of weeks to start to see the difference in the grass, especially when you're in prime growing season, like we are right now, um, the end of spring moving into summertime. But you can see that it goes from almost bare dirt to a little bit more and a little bit more and then it's really lush green grass and if you look at the strip you can see the pasture right next to where the chicken tractor has been and where it hasn't and you can see the incredible difference in the health of our pasture and the grass that is now coming up from the chickens. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you have chickens or you use this type of pasture management, I would love to know if you have any tips or if you have any questions so that I can answer them for you. Mm -hmm.